Welcome to Nerd Stalker. In this episode, we interview Peter Yared, CEO of iWidgets. Hi, I'm Peter Yared. I'm the founder and CEO of iWidgets. Uh, what we do at iWidgets is really, really simple. We have a PowerPoint style drag and drop environment, and you can basically design a widget. And what we do that's unique is you draw these lines and you make them actually interactive to your data at your site. And our whole philosophy is rather than put out you know, banner ads that nobody clicks on, you have your best users create really, in, you know, you create really interesting users so your users can show off what's interesting on your site. So a recipe site would have their users show off their favorite recipes, for example. You know, it's very, very simple. And then those, when your friends see it, they click on it and it drives traffic back. You know, what, what kind of person are you guys going for? Are you going for individual? Are you going for big company? So the audience for our site is a website owner. It's somebody that has a website. Uh, it's really hard to get traffic to a website to get attention nowadays. Everybody's spending their time on iGoogle and Facebook and MySpace. So it helps a website owner take what's interesting on their site and spread it out to these social sites so that those people's friends then hear about their site and drive traffic back. So it's a very simple audience. Besides the cool like IDE, what, what else do I get? Are there any kind of features or like that? And uh, you know, down the road, what kind of other additional features you guys you know hoping to develop and that sort of thing? Yeah, what we have is this really cool technology. We call it Widget War. Widget write once, run anywhere. And we take what you've designed and we make it a real Facebook app. It's got blue buttons, it's got canvas pages, it's got tabs. You know, we make it a real MySpace app that can access the Boltons, you know. We make it a real iGoogle gadget that resizes and gets set with the settings. So we make it a native application, native widget on each platform. And the really cool thing we do is we leverage the viral channels on each. So you have access to Facebook news feed. So it'll be like, you know, Jill just added a new recipe to her recipe box, you know, rack of lamb. And her friends go, I think Jill's got good taste. It shows up on their homepage on Facebook, you know? So it's really, and we make all that stuff drag and drop easy to do. I even did it in the demo for Rate It All. I did a news feed. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that. Which was very cool, yeah. yeah, and then they distributed it. Yeah, really nice. How'd you get started in this whole game? You know, you, you yourself. Uh, well, you know, I started programming when I was 10, and uh, this is the fourth company, so. Yeah, but it's kind of a theme. You know, I spent done this third company now that is taking complicated technology and making it accessible to more people. So in Java, I was with NetDynamics. I was the CTO of NetDynamics. It was one of the first Java application server companies. And uh, my last company was ActiveGrid, which brought the LAMP stack into the enterprise, so corporate-type developers could easily use open source. And now it takes all this complicated widget technology, and there's all these different APIs, and oh, it's just so freaking confusing, and it just makes it so easy for you to use, you know? What's the uh, infrastructure that you guys are using? You know, how do I know that you guys are sitting on top of something robust? Um, and who, you know, what kind of backing do you guys have? How do I know, you know, you guys are going to be around for a while? Yeah, we're venture financed by Opus Capital, um, great venture firm. I've known those guys for years, and uh, we're hosted up at Amazon. You know, we've had, they've had their growing pains, but we're, we're really, really pleased with that with Amazon, and it scales really, it's really solid. EC2 scales really well, and then we use this really cool technology called Soasta. Great interface. Let's you drag and drop, you know, click through a website and create load tests and then just hammer. And they're already up at Amazon, so we got to hammer our servers before we launched. Wow, and awesome. we're actually going to launch stress widgets, you know, kind of total stress testing. And we're launching, uh, you know, something with one of the top media companies in the world awesome. in a few weeks. Awesome. And we are just going to hammer everything, cool. and they're going to be so totally we'll happy. Send my scoop here. Huh? Yeah, we yeah, to send my scoop. All right, yeah, all right. Really. In a few weeks. <laughs> oh, cool. So um, where can we find more information about you guys at? It's real simple, www.iwidgets.com. Cool. Well, Peter, thanks so much for your time. And thanks for being on Nerds Docker. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.